good morning from Indonesia. I have just landed here in Jakarta, Indonesia. I am currently just getting out of immigration. Immigration process was pretty smooth. Um, actually very smooth the lines weren't too long also it is very early in the morning so not a lot of incoming flights one thing that was different though than malaysia and philippines here is this is the first southeast asian country that i had to actually pay for a visa on arrival so the visa on arrival was 35 usd um not bad you know it's just um and they give you 30 days which you can extend as well if you want to i just think you have to pay hi uh, and I think, you know, listen, for 35 bucks, that's not, that's not too bad. I was expecting it to be more, to be honest, when I was waiting in the line. But then I was pleasantly surprised that it was uh, 35 USD. So, um, yeah, now I'm just uh, getting out of this uh, area. This is the baggage claim. But luckily, I was able to get my bags on the plane this time. And I didn't have to check them in. Um, and I didn't have to pay. I got away with it. Um... <laughs> Uh, it's the small wins in life that you have to enjoy. I'm pretty tired because um, I had a red eye flight. Um, I left Manila at around like 1 a.m. and just landed here around 8 a.m. local time. So I'm pretty tired. I didn't sleep much on the plane. I mean, it's Air Asia after all, so the seats are pretty tight. So I didn't get too much sleep, but um, yeah, just soaking it all in, guys. Here at the Jakarta International Airport here. And um, so far, it's a beautiful airport. You know, uh, it's very similar to the one in Malaysia. And I think I have to go through a final customs check. And after that, I am going to find a taxi. You know how we, you know how it do, you know how it goes. This is the drill now. You know. Alrighty, guys. Got through uh, customs pretty easy you just have to fill out a customs declaration form you could do it online on a website they give you the link they have QR codes all around that you can scan and do it um, everything's really convenient so far at the airport um, people are very helpful um, so so far a good experience and yeah I would say uh, you know it's important to to kind of gauge how it is when you first get into a country and how they treat you at the airport um, says a lot about the place, you know. But yeah, walking out, getting out of the exit now. Uh, yeah, the currency here is pretty crazy. Like one dollar equals fifteen thousand of their money, so they work in really big denominations here. So it's just funny when you're taking out money because it's like whoa, it's huge. But yeah. We are going to exit. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as you get out. And maybe I can buy a SIM card here. Let's see. This is what the exit area looks like. Let's get up on and out of here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Maybe I will book a book a grab. Yes, sir. Protection. Yes, sir. Protection. Yes, sir. You're booking a uh, grab? Maybe yeah, I'll just book a grab. <laughs> I think I can do that. You can book it from here, huh? Okay. Alrighty. Check address, boss? Yeah. Uh, Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Gamma. <laughs> That's your company? Apple. Yes. Uh, what kind? The taxi? Yes. Uh, okay. How much do you charge for um, going to Roxy Hotel? Sounds. It's in uh, Jalan Biak, Sideng, Jakarta. Sideng. Yeah. Sideng, Jakarta. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. So he's gonna check for me how much he'll charge for this address. Mm. Name hotel. Sun's Hotel, Roxy. Sun Hotel. Yeah. Let's see how yeah, far okay, this hotel Standard is. card? Uh, premium card? Standard is fine. Standard card. Yeah. Standard card. Oh wow, it's a little bit far. 350,000 including everything. That's a lot, boy. 
Let me see how much the grab is. guys so i booked myself a grab it's costing me 150,000, which i think is about like i want to say like four dollars five dollars something like that so i am now going to see i think the guy should be here soon problem is i don't have service at the moment because i still have my philippine sim card in and that doesn't really work here so i have to see is coming from but I have to find him 1340 he's in a gray Toyota something like that so we shall see him soon alrighty oh yeah guys so far the weather's sunny the vibes look good people are helpful I'm tired, <laughs> uh, but I'm very excited to be in a new country. Every time you come to a new country that you've never been to, you always get that feeling of excitement, that feeling of uh, just that real adventurous feeling, you know? But you don't get that feeling unless you're in a place that you've never been to before. So it's uh, really the best feeling ever. That's why I do this, to be honest with you. Um, now, if only I can find my my uh, grab driver, that would be amazing. So this is the outside of the airport. A lot of greenery. Hey okay, guys, so I'm at my grab. You go Sands Hotel. Sands Hotel, Roxy. Okay. Yep. Sorry, uh, sorry, bro. I didn't know where this area okay, was. No I was problem, looking, yeah. Total application one five two, not include highway, yeah. And how much is okay. that? How much is the highway? Huh? Two thousand. Two hundred thousand total. Yeah, Total, how much? Uh, so apparently they charge you uh, <laughs> a toll for the highway. Highway. Yeah. highway? And parking oh, airport. 180. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just me. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. So we will get into the taxi now. I can sit here. All right. Thank you. Alrighty. So back to right-hand driving, guys. I just came from Philippines, <laughs> where it's left-hand driving, and now we are back to right-hand driving, like Malaysia. How are you, sir? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Good. 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 What's your name? My name is Bagus. Bagus. Bagus Suarto Kusuma. Ah, assalamu alaikum, yeah. brother. Waalaikumsalam. I'm from Yogyakarta. Yeah, I'm from New York. New York. Yeah. <laughs> so. Today in Jakarta. No, no. I, I'm. Uh, uh, I'm just coming to do YouTube, make YouTube videos. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, YouTuber. YouTuber. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. So, uh, so this hotel where I'm staying, it's in the center of Jakarta. It's the middle of the city. Yeah. Yeah. This yes. area. Uh, what's the name of this area? Jakarta Tua. Yeah. This where my hotel is. What's the name of this? What's the name of the area? Jakarta Barat. Jakarta Barat. Ah. This is the middle of the city. Center. Center. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. West Jakarta. West Jakarta. Yes. All right, guys. So we are in the middle of the city. We're gonna show you some views along the way. We are on the highway now with my friend. So far, I'm getting uh, very similar vibes to Malaysia. Um, you know, obviously the driving is on the same side, um, which is like the UK. So they drive on the right-hand side and we're on the other opposite side like, uh, of the Philippines. 
So now I gotta get used to this again. I was just getting used to, uh, cause I got used to Malaysia and now when, when I left Malaysia, I had to get used to what I'm used to back home, which is driving on the left hand. And when you cross the street, looking left, you know. Now I gotta get used to looking uh, the opposite way. So, but hey, that's uh, the fun of traveling, you know. Here are some views along the way, guys. So these days in in Jakarta, it's raining a lot, or sometimes rain. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes, not too much. Yes. It's a lot or a little bit. A little bit. Little bit. Okay. So one thing that I can definitely notice right off the bat that's going to be different here is the knowledge of uh, just overall being able to speak English. Um, I think I got used to the Philippines where obviously the English proficiency is very high because um, you know they they learn a lot in English, they work a lot in English. So um, I think here I'm going to have a little bit more trouble communicating, but that's also the fun of traveling, you know. Um, you, you learn how to communicate and you learn a few words you learn some body language and you make do and that's the fun of it you know trying to be able to communicate with people that uh, maybe don't speak your language that is what makes things and traveling fun so guys I'm learning some uh, language from my friend so it's the uh, the language is actually almost pretty much the same as uh, Bahasa Malayu, which is the Malaysian language. So I know the few words, you know, like Salam, uh, Apa Kabar. Yes. Welcome to Jakarta. Selamat datang Jakarta. Selamat datang Jakarta. Selamat datang Jakarta, guys. Welcome to Jakarta. And um, uh, Terima kasih is thank you. Yes. Yeah. Terima kasih, thank you. And um, Apa kabar? Baik, baik saja. <laughs> Very good. So kabar bye means I'm good. Everything is good. So those are the few words that I know from when I was in Malaysia. I will try to learn a few more while I'm here. Um, see if I can pick up some language. That's always fun. The thing is, sometimes you need to. Like in a country like this, I would imagine you probably need to pick up a few words, but. When you're in a country where most people speak English, then you, sometimes you don't even bother to learn because, you know, you're just speaking English with everyone. But when you're in a country where the English knowledge is a little bit less, it forces you to learn, which is awesome. I actually prefer that. That's how I learned Chinese. I speak a little bit of Mandarin because I used to live in China. And at the time, most people didn't really speak English. So it forces you to adapt and learn. So guys, look, we are driving on the shoulder of the road. That's the first time I've just seen people casually just driving on the shoulder, cutting people off to the shoulder. It's um, pretty crazy, the driving here. I would say uh, it's uh, pretty intense. Getting into the inside roads here, getting off the highway. This is the inside roads. Indonesia, Jakarta. Is there a metro, like a metro line in J in Jakarta? Yes. Metro. Metro. Yeah. Like train. West Jakarta. Yeah. Sisan City. Yeah. Your your name is Sisan City. Sisan. Sisan City. Uh, Sisan City. Um. No. It, in in Jakarta, they have a train. 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 Underground train. Sisan City. vibe so far guys um, traffic light. the traffic here is crazy the buses are going this way the bikes are going that way is this my shuttle huh? 
bus and satel kota. Oh, oke. Okay. Trans Jakarta. Trans Jakarta. Yeah. The bus. Hey yeah, guys, uh we're stuck in some traffic here. It's always interesting to see how uh, the traffic patterns work when you get to a different country, you know? Um, it says a lot about the country, how, how things move, how um, organized it is, how the urban planning is, um, also how the people operate, right? Like, it seems like people here are just like, hey, by any means, we're gonna get through, you know? And um, I like it. I don't know if I could drive here though. Alrighty guys, so we have arrived at the hotel. This is the Sands Sands Hotel. In Jakarta. Sands Hotel. I am on this street here. Seems like a somewhat busy street, but not too crazy. As you can see. And this is what the hotel looks like. It's pretty nice from booking. When I booked it on booking.com, so we will see once I get inside. We are in Jakarta, baby, let's go. I'm excited. Every time I come to a new place that I've never been, I'm always excited. This is it, Sands Hotel, Roxy, Jakarta. Hello. All right, so here's the lobby area. Let us head inside and check in. Oh, there's a picture of Ed Sheeran, it looks like. Here we are. Hello. Salam. Is this the Roxy Hotel? This is the reception? Yeah. Okay. Um, checking in. Uh, may I check your booking first? Sure. What name? Meyer. M Y E R. Here is the lobby, guys. Looks like there's a place where you can buy some cigarettes. If you need, got some murals of single room. Yes. But the room is not ready right now. No problem. Can I just leave my bags here? Yes. Okay. Yeah? okay. The check-in time at 2 p.m. because two. the other guests not check out. 2 p.m. Yes. So I have to wait till 2 p.m. Yes. Uh, guests check out it's at 12. 12. So, so can I come at 12? Because I'm very tired. Uh, I had a long travel. Uh, the guests uh, usually check at 12. Uh, and we need time to prepare. You need two hours? Uh, maybe one hour because okay. the housekeeping time to break is 12, 12 after 1. Uh, then lunch. lunch yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so maybe I will come back around uh, one maybe one. One o'clock? Okay, okay, thank you. All right guys, so I have to wait, as you heard the lady say, till, um, till one and it's only 10, 15. Oh gosh, I'm so tired, I wish I could get the room. Um, but you know, it is what it is. So maybe we'll go get some food because I am pretty hungry anyway. So we'll get some breakfast and then maybe I can sit down at a cafe, do some work in the meantime while I wait uh, to check into the hotel, so. All right, you guys, so. Um, you know, I could have gotten a little bit upset and been like, hey, you can't check me in earlier. Maybe they could have worked something out. But truth be told, you know, traveling is all about um, being adaptable, understanding, being like water, you know? Um, you can't be so stubborn. And when it comes to, oh gosh, you see guys, I'm crossing the street looking this way when the cars are coming from this way. That's something that you have to get used to when you're going to other countries. If you're coming from a place where the driving is like America, make sure you understand that you, in a country like this, you got to look on your right hand side when you're crossing. And then now on this side, I got to look on my left hand side. I got used to the Philippines and I almost got ran over because of it. But yeah, you know, traveling is all about adapting and um, being flexible and understanding and you know you can't get mad about small things you know it's just it is what it is you know um that you know that's what makes a good traveler is just being comfortable in every situation that you're put in um being being ad ad just adapting to things and and not being so stubborn because a lot of times when you're traveling things don't work out exactly how you would want it it's just how things go but 
Okay guys, um, I'm gonna go look for some breakfast. I think um, I'm pretty hungry anyway, so maybe I can find some breakfast here and show you guys. And then after that, once I'm ready to check in, I'll show you guys the room also. Um, but so far, I'm getting good vibes here. And um, it's, uh, it's nice. I do see a coffee place there. It's called Canal Coffee. You know what? Maybe I'll go there because I'm sure they might have something to eat light. I don't need a heavy meal right now. I just want a coffee. I mean, I drank another. I actually drank a coffee at the Malaysia airport because I had a stopover in Malaysia and I drank a cappuccino over there. But you know, if you know me, if you've been watching my videos, you know by now that I am a coffee addict. I don't stop drinking coffee. But yeah, it's nice, guys. I'm, I'm really tired. Uh, I'm trying to keep my energy levels up here uh, to keep you guys uh, engaged. And I'm excited to be here, but I would love to just take a shower and, uh, you know, clean up. It's been a long journey. Been traveling for like 10 hours now. But that's uh, it's all part of the fun. Alrighty, crossing the street here is uh, no easy task. So here we are, Kennel Coffee. Uh, looks like they're open, so let's go inside and see. Alrighty, hello sir, how are you? Very nice. Hi, how are you? Do you have food or only coffee? Only coffee. Only coffee. Yeah. Oh man, I need some food. <laughs> yeah. Is there any like breakfast place I can get some breakfast here? in this area? Uh, uh, Starbucks. Starbucks? Starbucks. This way? Yeah, this way. Okay. Nice uh, coffee. Yeah. They have this one? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Alright, so seems like a cool spot. I would hang out there. Um, except they only have coffee and I need something to eat. Uh, more than coffee to be honest. So maybe I'll just go to the Starbucks. I hate going to franchises, but at the moment, I might not have a choice here. And I can show you guys what the Starbucks looks like. The good thing about Starbucks is at least they have a cold brew. It's consistent. Not the best, not the worst. But, hey guys, just walking through the streets of Jakarta. We are out here. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello. Hello, baby. Hello. Hello, baby. Hello, hello baby. <laughs> Some cute kids. Alrighty, because we are passing by the river. It's, uh, reminds me of the Pasig River in Manila, which I showed you guys in a video. Ah oh, man, I love coming to Asian countries and just getting lost. It's like the best feeling ever. Just walking around, getting lost and then finding your way back there's uh no better feeling than that for me uh, it's really what gets my blood going Just soaking in the city as you walk i really think there's no better way to see a city than just walking around even driving maybe a bike is good but when you really like walk around the city you really get to take in everything at a good pace because when you're driving you're moving fast you know so all right guys i'm just looking for coffee and stuff and i will check in with you once i find something interesting all right guys so i could sell my soul and go to starbucks or i can go try this other place it looks like a local place known as max coffee let's see what they have oh, oh gotta be careful i don't want to cross and get a train over all right so I could sell my stole. There's a Starbucks right, right over there. But let's see if they have things to eat here. And we'll support the more local one. I think this is like a local franchise. So let's see what they have. Hello, Salam. Hello. Hello. Do you guys have food? This is the food? Yeah. Okay. Well, they have sandwich and pastry. Okay. Alright, so they have some pastries and a few sandwiches here. Alrighty. 
so I think I'm gonna get one of these um, uh, smoked beef and cheese croissant. That looks good. I'm get a coffee. Let's see, do they have? Um, do you have a um, uh, cold brew? Cold brew? No. No. We only have um, handcraft and the americano. Heimcraft is what? Okay, what kind of beans you like? Achigarius, Macerolinto, Japachiyude, Torajo, Urban. It's ice? Okay. Can, um, and you can put cream in it? Some milk? Huh? Cream? Yeah? Uh, okay, so I will take... Uh, I don't know which one. Um, <laughs> it's, it's all local? Yes. It's like from Indonesia? Yeah. Which one do you think is good? What kind of coffee you like? It's strong, I, smoky? I don't like too smoky. I actually prefer like a light roast. But the light roast is also strong, right? Um, we are medium roast. Medium roast? Which one is that? All. Okay. All of them. Medium okay. Roast. So you tell me. Maybe it's Sumatra Lito. Okay, I trust you. I'll take a, <laughs> I'll take a small uh, Sumatra. Yeah. Okay. And this is this coffee is from Indonesia, Indonesia. huh? Indonesia. Ah. Right. Gayo is from Aceh. Okay. Then Sumatra Lintong from Sumatra. Sumatra. Java. Uh. Ah, very nice. And Bali, obviously, from yeah. Bali. Huh? Oh, yeah, guys. So I, I actually didn't, I forgot that uh, a lot of coffee actually does come from Indonesia. So some of the coffee that they have here is actually local uh, brews, local coffee. So excited to try it. And um, I will pay for this by card. Can I use a card to pay? Yeah? Okay. Where are you from? I'm from the US. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you're here to travel? I'm here to travel, make travel vlog and stuff, yeah. <laughs> YouTube vlogging, you know? Yeah. So what's that? That's like a cold brew, but you don't have that? Uh, we have class. Uh, it's been a long time, uh, like two years ago. Oh, okay. But this is like almost like cold brew, right? No. Not, it's hot, but you will make it iced. Yeah, okay. And you can put some uh, creamer. some sugar, creamer and some sugar, uh, like the liquid sugar you have. Okay. Si yeah, okay. yeah, okay. Awesome, thank you. And also I will take uh, this smoked beef and cheese croissant. Okay. All right guys, so this is their places to sit down and they have outlets, beautiful. So one issue that I had in the Philippines, which I mentioned in my last video, was getting Wi-Fi was very difficult. I don't think I'm gonna have that problem here. I don't think, same in Malaysia, I didn't have that, but um, yeah. And also, it was like funny because in, the, in Manila, sometimes you find a cafe that has Wi-Fi, but then they don't have outlets. So you know, you can only work until your computer dies. And then sometimes they have outlets, but they didn't have Wi-Fi. So I was having trouble getting work done. But I don't think I'll have that trouble here. I can already see that it's quite accessible. But I'm gonna get this coffee and I'll show you guys what it's like. And then I'm gonna get some work done too here while I have time to burn. Look at this guys, uh, they actually come and make the coffee in front of you. So she has the beans ground inside of the filter here and then the ice in a glass. So I ordered a iced um, coffee. And this is the, which blend is this? Sumatra Lintong. Sumatra Lintong, yeah. So it's a local... It takes like earth, earth yeah. tropical yeah. fruit, yeah. and the spice, spice, and the tobacco. Ah, oh, it has all those flavors in it. Very nice. So, then she, this, so this is actually a pour over. Pour over. Very nice. We here call it coffee talk, so I show you what okay. is coffee. Yeah, yeah. The first I, thing is, I call this blooming. Okay. Wow, this is the first time I'm seeing some place something like this presentation. It's very cool. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Why? Yes. Don't be nervous. I'm really shy. Don't be shy. Okay. No, no reason to be shy. It's okay. I'm happy I didn't go to Starbucks. I, would, I almost went to Starbucks, but this is much better. I really want to explain to you, but I'm. I can't really do English. I think your English is very good. Yes, yeah, thank you. No problem. Very good. <laughs> Trust me. So, I wish I spoke uh, uh, Bahasa. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know a few words, but not too much, you know. So, do you know any kind word of Bahasa? I know um, apa kabar. Apa kabar? Yeah, it's for you. I know uh, terima kasih. Terima kasih. <laughs> and uh, what else? 
I know Kabarbai. Kabarbai, like Kabar every, uh, everything is good. Yeah. I know um, Salam. <laughs> uh, yeah, not too much. <laughs> but yeah, guys, look, she's like literally making this coffee for me in front of me. The whole presentation, as you can see, so she's actually pouring the hot water into the um, the drip coffee there, and and then she has the glass that she's gonna put in. Yeah. Liquid. Very nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. So I'm super excited. And so the creamer is here. Yeah. Oh, and the liquid sugar. Okay, very it's nice. Creamer and it's liquid. So it's it's like heavy cream, right? Heavy cream. Heavy cream, very nice. I like to use heavy cream, then you can just use a little bit. I don't like to drink too much milk, you know? It, it, is, uh, it can be poured here, yeah. but I, I stop. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm really. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm it, afraid that too much for you, so I yeah. just. Thank you. Thank you so much. Fresh. That's perfect. So now it's already cold. You see, guys, the coffee is already cold. So we here for burning one point fifty. One is the coffee, and fifty is the liquid. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. I'm really came from. You're from Jakarta. Jakarta. Okay. Very nice. And your name is Russia. Russia. Yeah. Like the country. Yeah, Russia. <laughs> That's different alphabet. Very nice. So yeah, guys, this is how they make the coffee here, and I have my uh, um, beef cheese croissant. I got my iced coffee, and I paid eighty thousand uh, Indonesian rupiah, which is like in dollars, it's like five dollars. So you get all this for five dollars. It's, so far, I'm very, very pleased with everything here, and the service is really nice. Thank you so much, Thank Russia. You. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna get into this coffee now. Um, so, as you can see, she really did a great job with the pour over right into the ice, and then you can just pour it right into here. And you can take the milk, and boom. So I think uh, Indonesia has a pretty strong uh, coffee culture because obviously it's a it's a growing nation. It's a coffee growing nation. Anytime the nation grows coffee, I think the culture for coffee is pretty strong, which is why it's such a cool presentation. I've never seen anything like that at a franchise coffee shop. So really impressed. Also, by the way, this coffee is amazing. Like it tastes really, really good. Like very fresh. Um, you can taste the berry uh, undertone that she mentioned and um, it just has a very bold but not too like smoky kind of flavor but very nice wow wow I'm loving it cheers guys just checked in finally um, I can go to my room I got some work done at the cafe but I am like exhausted. Um, I need to get inside the room, take a shower, freshen up. But before I do that, I wanted to show you guys what the room looks like. I am on floor three. And um, yeah, so we're headed up now. And I will show you what the hallways and what the room looks like. And then I will freshen up. Maybe take a little nap because it's been a long day. But yeah, so I am room 310. So this way. So this is what it looks like in the hallway. Hello. And it seems pretty clean, it smells good. I don't know how important that is to me. Uh, that's the most important thing. The hallways are a bit narrow. But guys, um, when I tell you how much I'm paying for this place, you'll be. You will be shocked at how much. Alrighty, so I am paying ten dollars a night for this place. Yep, you heard it right. Ten dollars a night. Alright, how do we turn this on? Is that it? Not much light here, I think. But hey, what do you expect for ten dollars a night? It's a pretty small room, I will say. Um, but once again. What can you really expect for $10 a night? I didn't expect too much. 
but I think it's a great deal. It's very tiny. Um, I don't know if you can even tell through the video, but uh, put my bag down. You have, oh God, even the outlet, uh, that's gonna be a problem. They only have this kind of outlet, a circular one. Uh, we'll have to figure that out. And then, yeah, they give you a towel, some toothbrushes. You have a little stand here. Um, not much room here, but a little vanity closet area, small bed. It's not like a twin size, but it's not a queen size either. It's probably like a full size bed. Um, and then this is the bathroom, guys. You got the toilet, you got the shower with, right next to the toilet. It's pretty clean. For $10 a night, you know, what can you ask for? Wow, this is a small sink. But hey, um, it'll do the job. It's got Wi Fi and a place to sleep. Listen, when you're traveling on a budget, you gotta make do with what you get, you know? Um, and it seems clean. Um, let's test the bed. The sheets don't look super green. I don't know. We'll find out, but. Yeah, that doesn't seem too bad. Let's see. Oh, man, I'm so tired. Oh, and we have a TV, which I never ever use. I think I've used the TV once. And that's it guys, that is the hotel room. You do have a mirror, a stand up mirror there. I am so beat, I'm, I'm sorry if I don't have enough energy. Quick update uh, from this hotel. Um, you know, sometimes you gotta stay in a place for a night to really know about it. Um, Cause I don't wanna mislead you guys. I mean, it is a $10 hotel, but there is a karaoke bar on the second floor and I'm staying here on the weekend, so this karaoke bar is so loud. I'm staying on the fifth floor. I had my room changed, and still I can hear it bumping downstairs. So if you want to get sleep, I mean, luckily I'm usually tired by the end of the day, so for me it's not really affecting me that much, but I'm not going to lie to you, it's loud, and I feel like I'd be lying to you guys if I said that this hotel is all peaches and, and, and roses, but... Um, also, I thought it was, I mean, I, I mentioned in earlier that um, that the sheets didn't look too clean. Yeah, it's not the cleanest, I'll be honest with you. Um, the upkeep on this hotel, uh, you know, in the rooms at least, is, uh, the lobby's nice, but the, some of the smells I'm getting and, and, and the sheets themselves, I mean, but at the end of the day, you get what you pay for, right? $10 for my own private room. You know, um, you can't get better than that, really. But with that being said, you should know that if you do book this hotel, this Sands Hotel, Sands Roxy, in West Jakarta, um, yeah, it's definitely going to be uh, not the best. So guys, final update from this hotel. Um, honestly, it's terrible. I, I usually never rate hotels poorly this the way the way I'm speaking about this hotel um, I'm just having a really bad time first of all it's so loud um, I can't sleep second of all for some reason every night the room smells like gasoline like some sort of nasty like almost like smells like patrol petroleum uh, comes into the rooms and it like I can't breathe. I, I, I had them change my room yesterday because of that, and still I'm feeling it here on the fifth floor. Um, I would highly recommend if you come to uh, Jakarta, just because you see that this hotel is the cheapest one, because it is. Um, I would not. I would not recommend staying here. And I never said that about a hotel. I've done many hotel reviews. I've never. I'm not the kind of person to bash on something just because. But I don't want to lie to you guys. This hotel is terrible. Um, this is the Sands Hotel in uh, Jakarta um, the room is dirty the sheets are dirty uh, I'm actually about to leave here and it's 10 o'clock at night but I am checking into another hotel I'm out of here but just wanted to let you guys know that do not make the same mistake that I did that's why I'm here to make the mistakes 
but you know, listen, it's part of traveling. I'm not, I'm not like super upset. You know, it is what it is. Plus, I paid ten dollars a night, so what? I lose ten, twenty dollars. I'm, I'm willing to do that. That's fine. But yeah, guys. Um, remember, continue to learn, continue to grow, and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. Um, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm literally sitting in a dirty hotel room, smelling gasoline. Um, that's what it literally feels like listening to people sing karaoke terribly two floors below me and I don't understand what what makes them like have a loud karaoke bar and the walls are so thin like it just doesn't make any sense but anyways um, I'll see you guys on the next one peace out